Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Factorio Break the Game. I'm about to be joined by a good friend, Colonel Will. He's returned to do some multiplayer. Hurrah! Yay, I am back. Hello. Oh look, an island. What do you reckon? Good, let me. It's, uh, I, I'll just get your present. Hold on. Look, a fish. <laughs> yeah, that's us, uh, that's us done here. Roll credits. No, seriously, um, <laughs> let, let me, um, just load up uh, properly here and, and then I'll get you to join, Will, because we've, um, we need to uh, do a bit of planning. Now, you, you think that we won't be able to uh, multiplayer, and well, you can see by the latency I'm trying to, I'm having to set. Uh, so, we, we, let's just see if we can get around it. Do you want to try and connect again, Will? On my way. Now, I must apologise for Will's shitty microphone. Uh, he's having some technical difficulties, getting it to come through nice and clear. Uh, he's got a bit of a background hum, so it's there. It's uh, we'll just have to uh, to deal with it as the uh, the price of doing business. Wow, that upload speed, yo! Yeah, it's getting faster. <laughs> right. Twenty kilobytes a second now. Doing oh, well. Look at it! Look at it! Look at it go! Because in this episode, Will, what I really, 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 really would like to do is start to plan out the crusher. So this uh, this world that I'm standing in right now is a test world. Will's about to see it. He doesn't know this yet. He thinks he's coming in to, uh, to break the game. But uh, this, this is a test world that I've uh, created and I just spawn in items as I need them to test different things. This is actually where the Combinator Build Factory exists. And uh, in this space is where we're, uh, we're going to attempt to plan out how the factory is going to look. And I anticipate that we'll just do it to scale. How does that sound, Will? Yeah, sounds good. So you got everything good to go? Have you? It's all uh, materials there. Yeah, yeah, I've got some materials. We're not going to build it to scale, though. So if you want to come over and join me, actually, hold on. I'll, uh, I'll bring you presents. I like presents. It's like Christmas, but different. Well, every day is Christmas with me. Eh, uh, look, it comes through a thousand miles an hour. Hold on. Stop. I brought presents. Just stay still. Oh. I'm trying to open you like a box and it's not working. Why are you not a box? So there, presents. You can run fast too. Now, let's uh, let's go set aside some area and uh, plan out a factory. Oh, that actually reminds me. We need to spawn in. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just... Uh, ah, here it is. Uh, now this, for those who haven't seen it, this is the console and this allows you to control the game at the lure level. So basically, you can spawn in items, you can tell the game to cheat, and it's generally kind of handy if you just want to test things out. Let's, um, let's say we want 150 of them. So you'll notice now in my inventory I've got 150 uh, assembly machine twos. And uh, we'll uh, put a hundred in there. Now I also want to say... Yeah, 800. Sounds good. Alright, if you want to get some belt and some assemblers, let's go and uh, mock out a factory. So I found with the... Oh my lord. Will, you're no, never going to believe it. Oh. You're going to freak out. No, Matsui is going to freak out. Rocks everywhere. Okie dokie. Well, actually, we'll just use one. Coming? Yeah, I'm <laughs> Okay. Your microphone's not working again. Oh, 
Wow, that latency hiding. You can see me just jump a little bit. Yeah, I just sort of power slide along the floor. That's uh, that's crazy. I can tell your internet is just not up to the task today. <laughs> Uh, better than it was earlier. Well, you couldn't, you couldn't load speed test earlier to find out how slow you were going, which I no, find, it took it. <laughs> find slightly <laughs> ironic that uh, the fact that you can't load speed test tells you your speed. Yeah, <laughs> it's too low. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's let's get cracking. Now, this here, this here is going to be the iron bus. Now, this this is going to attach to the train stations down here, and. Basically, uh, we're going to work from here and try and mock out the factory. Now, you uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where is it? No, we can't. Hold on. It's not even what I want. Uh, that's what I want. Too many lines. Scale. One line will do. Now, <laughs> it needs to be bigger. It will be. Yeah. <laughs> so, with uh, with your circuits, right? I just want to try and sketch out how the the bus will look in, in really broad terms. And it's not not going to have to be exact at all. So don't don't fix things. Why would be? What's that? Not even going to plan the copper wire factories. Just... No. No, this is just all indicative only. So, if the um, so where where we need to go first? Do we go straight into the green circuits? Uh oh. Yeah. So straight into uh, green. Yeah. yeah. So this one is copper, you say? Yeah. Well, hold on. Here we go. Uh, this will need to move. To here. Oh, I just deleted them. <laughs> Silly boy. Now, uh, these will be the iron. Now, from the cop, uh, from the circuits, what I'm thinking is that we. Oh, that needs to stop. There we go. So, okay, here's the thing. When, I'm not going to have room in the map to do iron uh, steel on this side. So what I was thinking is doing steel over here. You're better off swapping iron and copper then. Why is that? Because then the iron doesn't need to bother with the copper. It can just split. If this was iron, then steel can go this way. Over this side. That's not going to work. Okay. Can it cross over though? Yeah, it can. Here, let's, 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 let's. It's scale. I've got all the way over here, so I didn't know we were working on a limited map. We are. There's, there's, imagine there's water here. There's, there's water, okay. you know, kind of here-ish on the map. Uh, and this, I'm thinking, will be the main bus. So the factory is going to have to go to the right of the buses. Right. So why are we building here? Because uh, you can't multiplayer on the proper map. No, so why are we, in, in the real map, why is this going here when there's water right here? Why don't we build somewhere else? Uh, because this is the way I want to lay it out. Matt, why are you building when there's water right here? This is, this is the biggest spot I got. <laughs> Find a bigger spot. You need a bigger base. <laughs> I need a bigger map. It'll be that direction. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm thinking, right, that I'm going to need kind of two or three of these green circuit assemblers. Yeah, I'd say two. Alright, we'll make it four. Right. Great idea, Will. Yep. How many, in the real world, how many belts wide is this iron and copper? Uh, 
24. Okay. Yeah, four circuit builds. On. I don't. I actually don't. Um, it won't end up being that large. Yeah, I don't think there's a 24 lane belt with balance of design hanging around at the moment. Ah, uh, there's a 32 that works. Yeah. I've seen a 250. That's just silly. Actually, I could do better with that. So, this one circuits is it output? Sorry, hang on a sec. Let me uh, just. Ah, there we go. That's what I need. Oh, come on. Thank you. That's three. Four. Okay, so we've got we've got them in place, right? Now now from the green circuits, where do they need to go? Uh, they would go uh, up in this case. Why uh, up? To, to, to join the main bus, so your iron and your copper would carry on. Yeah. Although iron by now is very depleted because half of about half has gone to steel. The circuit is probably half of what's left, if not more. But is it used for anything else in that production change? Yeah, it needs to go to. I assume you're building rockets with this base. Yes, that's not science. Uh, is it going to make belts or anything, or is it literally just rockets and that's all it makes? Rockets and that's it. To go to accumulators, which you need to build the satellites. Yep. And that's, and that's it. That's it. Okay. Well, that, that's fairly straightforward. Uh, so, really, the last thing for the iron bus will then be to, yeah, do um, do accumulators at some stage. So we'll just do indicative only at the moment. Um, there, like that. Because this this is kind of the major thing, isn't it? The the circuits. Because yeah. we need yeah. to build into processing units for the rocket control unit, uh, solar panels for the uh, for the satellite. Uh, rocket fuel is neither here nor there, and yeah. then there's a steel plate and copper plate requirement for low density structures. Yeah. I would say that circuits will need to meet up and then be split. Half to go to red circuits and probably half to solar panels. Okay, and so that's what. That's all they need to go. Red circuits and solar panels. Okay. Yeah, for the greens, yeah. Now, well, the output of that is going to be uh, eight lines, isn't it? So what we'll do then is, well that's probably too far. Okay, so half needs to go to red circuits. Yep. Where it needs to meet half of the copper plate. Well, red red circuits kind of needs to be up near the main bus, then, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'd put I'd run your green circuits up when it comes out to meet the copper and go into the red build. That's what I've done in mine. Okay. So there's just going to be an eight-lane bus then of um, green circuits, isn't there? That we can then just work off. I like it. And we could possibly insert from the left-hand side, sorry, the right-hand side, for the circuits. And that yep. will give us the ability to do 
So half a dozen of those builds. Well, as many builds as we can. <laughs> Until they all blow up. Now Possibly limited by your plastic supply. Yeah, well, I'm hoping that that's going to be the case. Is that plastic will be the issue. Because that just yeah. gives me one thing to focus in on. Because if there's three things I need to work in. Sorry, what was that? Yeah, if, you just, if it's just a case of I need more oil, everything else is fine, just go and get more oil. Yeah, indeed. So your steel will be coming up by now from its steel build. That can run up pretty much next to your circuit. Yeah. You can have your reds here. Are we limited in any direction? Uh, not extremely. A little bit, yes. Alright. Your steel needs to go... It needs to meet half of the cop, the other half of the copper plate. And... Into the solar panel build. But what about the um, load density structures? Yeah, that's what I mean. It needs to meet half of the copper plate to go into low density, and then the other half to uh, solar panels. Okay. We need quite a chunky solar panel build. It takes a hundred solar panels to launch one rocket. Oh, that reminds me. Do you insert the the satellites automatically? Yeah, I have them um, brought over by bot, and they just you know they just get requested in. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So this here, this needs to be solar panels. And this here needs to be the low density structures. Actually, we might flip these two over. So I think it makes sense to have the low density structures near the uh, assemblers, or the red circuit, because they're both going to use plastic. So the plastic yep. can have half each ish come in here somewhere and then be used. Yep. Where's the oil build in the real world? What? Uh, TBA. Okay, coming in by train or built on site here? Uh, TBA. Zedith is trying okay. to convince me to do it uh, off site, and I don't particularly want to do it because it introduces an extra layer of logistical challenge. Yeah. Uh, which I'm, I'm not entirely keen for. Uh, this okay. we need to make. This. Um, at some point, batteries need to appear down here for the accumulators. Yep. Well, the iron bus That's can amazing. run an interminable length up the factory. Yeah. So or from... the batteries could come down where the iron bus used to be, or would have been. Yeah, okay. Now, the other thing that needs to happen with the... Um, like the red circuits are being used for two purposes. Firstly, speed modules. Secondly, processing units. So, how how does that look, generally? Would you bolt it onto the end of the red circuit build? Yeah, it's not a bad idea. That's all. You only need speed modules these days. You don't need the others. And so, yeah, so look, yeah go yeah. on. Leave a gap between the reds and the greens in case you need to split other reds off for anything else. Uh, I don't think you must. Yeah, processing units. It takes the red circuits off before they all go. You need uh, blue processing units for the satellites and the rocket control units. So basically what we could do then is have, well hold on, Somewhere. 
yeah, up further. And then what we would need is speed modules. I'm thinking somewhere before the processing units so that they can take some of the greens Your uh, your microphone's doing interesting things to your voice, Will. <laughs> I think I think we might end it on that note. Uh, we'll be back very shortly for another episode as we continue to plan out the the crusher. This is all just a, a rough idea at the moment, just to try and get a conceptual idea as to where all the things are going to uh, to go. So thank you very much for joining us, Colonel Will. Thank you for for returning back to the well, not make break the game, but factory but to the series so thank you for that and i hope uh, i hope to see you again shortly